Right now, the Packers are heading to the NFC Championship game again. Highlights from their win over the Rams at Lambeau. And the U.S. is on edge as officials prepare for armed protests across the country. The latest from Capitol Square. Plus, as thousands of UW-Madison students return to campus next week, they'll be welcomed by a new COVID testing plan. Why the school that developed it says it will work here, too. This is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining News 3 Now at 10. I'm Amanda Quintana. The Packers are one win away from a trip to Super Bowl 55. Green Bay took care of business today against the Rams at Lambeau Field. Sports Director Zach Hanley joins us now with highlights and what's next for the Pack. I mean, all week long, the talk was how good the Rams' defense was. Aaron Donald is going to get to Aaron Rodgers. Jalen Ramsey is going to shut down Devontae Adams. I think the Packers were a little sick of hearing that because the offense put a hurt on that number one defense. Hugs all around early and hugs all around after the game. Pack up seven in the second and look at A-Raj. <laughs> That's embarrassing. The MVP scampers in for the score. Green Bay led 19-10 at the break and then in the third, Aaron Jones bulls his way in for another tutty. Jones rushed for 99 yards. Remember, that's 99 shoes he's donating to the kids in the Green Bay area. Now, it's a seven-point game with seven minutes left. Here's your dagger. Rodgers drops a dime on Alan Lazard. There's your ball game. Packers put up 32 points and 484 yards on the number one defense in the league and roll to the NFC Championship game for the second straight year. You know, I'm just so uh, so happy for our guys. Um, definitely a little emotional. Uh, just thinking about what we've been through. Um, got me emotional with the crowd out there today. I'm just I'm just still really happy about everything that happened tonight. Guys don't even get to one. You know what I'm saying? This is my third NFC Championship I'm going to. So uh well we gotta just you know lock in you know kick the door down man and 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 get over that hump and get in there now standing in their way to the super bowl will be either the buccaneers or the saints will find out who they'll play tomorrow night amanda all right thank you zach thousands of packers fans got to enjoy today's win from inside lambeau field the packers allowed 6,000 ticketed fans into the stands for the game for the first time this season fans sat in socially distanced pods of two four and six tickets spread throughout the stadium those in attendance say they were soaking up the experience couldn't believe it couldn't believe it i got it's it's uh, a very good it's a very good feeling it's a very good feeling to be one of one of the the selected few. It is definitely surreal, but no, not taking it for granted at all. Like, you know, I this is the first game I've ever gone to, so this is even more special. Today wasn't the first time there were fans in the stands this season. The Packers invited around 500 employees and their families, as well as frontline workers, to the final few home games back in December. Let's get a look at your first warm weather. We've seen some flurries and freezing drizzle tonight, Gary. Yeah, we have, especially over southwestern Wisconsin. National Weather Service has just come out with a winter weather advisory for Grant, Crawford, Richland, Juno, Adams uh, counties and areas to the northwest into La Crosse. That's because that area is starting to see some freezing drizzle. Notice on high resolution radar, very little being detected by radar, but what is of concern is we're starting to see some fog and patchy fog has been occurring in the last few nights, but with temperatures now dropping a little bit below freezing. This fog is adding a little extra moisture to the air and visibilities are down to about three to four miles through much of Grant County. And so that is starting to freeze on the road surfaces and take a look at where temperatures are. They're either at or slightly below freezing. Platteville down to 29, Basquebel 32, Prairie du Chien at 30, even in Madison we're at 31. And we're getting some reports of some slick roads over Western Dane County as well. So anywhere west of Madison, be prepared for some freezing drizzle. This after a day where high temperatures were in the mid to upper 30s. So we did add some moisture to the air by melting some of the snow. Tomorrow, we're not going to add very much to it. In fact, we'll see some snow showers and flurries overnight. Look for a low temperature of about 26. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a few flurries. High temperature at 30. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that includes a couple of shots of cold air next week and maybe some snow toward the end of next weekend. All right. Thank you so much, Gary. 
Threats of terror continue tonight ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday. U.S. Capitol Police say they arrested a Virginia man yesterday after he was caught passing through a police checkpoint in downtown Washington with fake inaugural credentials, a loaded handgun, and more than 500 rounds of ammunition. That comes as the investigation into last week's deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol continues. That is a tier one top priority for both the U.S. Attorney's Office and our federal law enforcement partners to see, again, whether there was this overarching command and control and whether there were these organized teams that were organized to breach the Capitol and then perhaps try to accomplish some type of a mission inside the Capitol. With the potential threat of more violence in D.C., businesses are boarding up and the National Mall is shut down through the inauguration. Around 500 Wisconsin National Guard soldiers and airmen are now in D.C. The soldiers left this morning from Milwaukee. They come from all around the state, including the Madison-based 115th Fighter Wing. The Pentagon has called up nearly 25,000 troops in response to potential threats. Much of downtown Madison is preparing for an uncertain end to the weekend as threats of violence downtown loom large tomorrow. Adam Duxter explains what officials and those around the Capitol Square are doing to prepare. It was a quiet and for the most part empty evening at Wisconsin State Capitol in downtown Madison tonight. One night ahead of threats of potential violence from Trump supporters upset with the presidential transition process. Tonight, while the square was quiet, you could see the preparation already underway. A closed and boarded Capitol building with roadblocks protecting it on all sides. Earlier this week, Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway says she's hoping for the best. I'm hoping that the week will pass without incident. But I want Madison residents to know that we are prepared. And that preparation includes a unified command post in which MPD says they, Capitol Police, state troopers, and the National Guard will operate. And while they say they're not aware of any specific threats, they say they're prepared to respond to any incident in a matter of seconds. Our job, as always, is to facilitate First Amendment expression while maintaining a safe environment and ensuring public safety. In addition, parking will be restricted around the entire Capitol Square all day tomorrow. Just another effort from MPD to keep as many people from gathering as they can. As for nearby businesses, some have chosen to board up yet again. Others keeping up the boards they've had in place for the last eight months. And many told me tonight they're making the decision to stay closed tomorrow and are asking everybody to stay at home. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. A rally demanding justice for Jacob Blake was planned for the Capitol Square tomorrow. Around the same time, police were expecting right-wing extremists to arrive. That rally has since been moved to Monday. Preparations are being made at state capitals across the U.S. ahead of the possible, possible protests. Minnesota State Patrol troopers were outside the Minnesota State Capitol today in St. Paul. The state's lieutenant governor says she wants Minnesotans to know the state capitol is a place people can gather without fear. And Illinois state leaders are bracing for protests over the coming days. A Save Our State rally was scheduled at the state capitol in Springfield for this afternoon, but reporters covering the event saying only two protesters showed up. 250 members of the Illinois National Guard are on standby to assist if needed. Mike Pence may have delivered his final speech today as vice president. Pence spoke to military personnel at a naval air station in California. And as my time in office draws to a close, allow me to thank you for the privilege of serving as your vice president these past four years. It's been the greatest honor of my life. In his speech, Pence noted that the Trump administration was the first in decades not to enter a new war. Pence plans to attend the inauguration on Wednesday. When President-elect Biden takes office next week, he plans on getting straight to work. Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, says he plans to sign about a dozen executive orders on his first day as president. Biden plans to have the U.S. rejoin the Paris Climate Accord and to rescind the travel ban on predominantly Muslim countries. He also intends to address the pandemic by halting evictions and student loan payments and mandating masks on federal property. Last night, Biden laid out his administration's plan for fighting the coronavirus and how he plans on delivering on his promise of 100 million vaccinations over his first 100 days in office. Today, he introduced the people who will be leading that effort in his White House science team. I've uh, always said that the Biden-Harris administration will also going to lead, and we're going to lead with science and truth. We believe in both. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is how we're going to, God willing, overcome the pandemic and build our country back better than it was before. Biden says he's elevating the position of presidential science advisor to a cabinet rank for the first time in history. The president-elect nominated Eric Lander to that position. By the time Biden takes office on Wednesday, health experts say the U.S. will have surpassed 400,000 coronavirus deaths. The COVID tracking project says more than 23,000 Americans have died of COVID over the past week. That's an average of 3,300 a day. Experts say there could be around 4,000 deaths a day on average sometime next month. Wisconsin now has more than 520,000 all-time cases of the virus. DHS and county dashboards show an increase of more than 1,700 cases over the past day. 120 additional deaths are being reported. 73 of those are in Milwaukee County. DHS says about 27,000 of the state's cases remain active. UW-Madison began its new coronavirus testing program this week that will require on-campus students to get tested twice each week. But as Badgers prepare for this new norm, students from a rival Big Ten University already know it very well. Abby Schinderly explains how the program made its way from Illinois to Madison. Good news for Badgers. It really is the best possible solution. As UW-Madison begins to implement a brand new COVID-19 response, the program is based off of SHIELD, which was pioneered by the University of Illinois and helped the college become one of the safest places in the state. SHIELD is a combination of the test, the response to the test, and then all of the other non-test controls. So that's masks, distancing, minimizing your social networks. Thanks to SHIELD, U of I routinely saw positivity rates below 0.5%, while UW spiked as high as 12% at one point last fall. Developers of the program think it could help Madison get to a similar place as Illinois. As long as one tests everybody and isolates those that are positive it def it rapidly, it definitely works. Both schools have a similar undergraduate enrollment size of around 35,000 students, and many members of Illinois' SHIELD team are working closely with UW-Madison to help bring the program here. I have friends and colleagues at Madison. I, I, I work with uh, a whole crew up there, and I've always told them that I really wish we could just send what we have to you. So I'm so happy that it's there for my friends and my colleagues and all of the wonderful students. The goal is to test as many people as possible every couple of days to stop the spread of the virus on campus and into the surrounding community. U of I junior ceremony said the testing regimen made her feel a lot safer to be on campus. It was nice to just know who had it right away instead of like going through like trying to figure out how to get a test. It was like super easy. Mooney along with the developers of the program have a message Message for UW Madison faculty and students: Embrace it. Just uh, go for it and, and comply, and really view it as a, you know your administration has made a great decision and in, in, uh, kind of going all in on testing everybody. In Madison, Abby Schinderly, News Three Now. Tomorrow on News 3 Now, our coverage of UW-Madison's new testing plan continues as we dive into how the tests will be administered and how students are stepping up to the challenge to keep campus a safe place to live. There's more to come on News 3 Now at 10. Gary has your first sworn forecast. Plus, as Madison continues to try to move past its surge in coronavirus cases, the city is looking ahead to its economic recovery plan. And a bald eagle is back in the wild with the help of a Sock Prairie group. Details coming up after the break. Dear All Wheel Drive, I'm your new co-pilot, Cameron. Let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, meh. Safety's the name of our game. Steady, Camry all-wheel drive. Right now, you can get 0.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Toyota Camry. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan.
was USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. USAA. A surprise party, a wedding proposal, an unexpected bonus at work. Some surprises are awesome, but this? Weather like this should never be a surprise. Not when you watch News 3 Now, where you get an accurate, reliable forecast so you're never caught off guard by the weather. Need to get up early to shovel, add time to your commute, wear boots, rebook a flight? Let News 3 Now first warn weather give you everything you need to know so you can plan your life. Get more local news now with Channel 3000 Plus, our free digital streaming service that brings you area news and info 24-7 from the News 3 Now team. Channel 3000 Plus. Download it today and watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. From Wisconsin to Washington, police departments across the country are preparing for several days of protests starting Sunday. What local officials are doing to keep Madison safe and what they want you to know before heading downtown. Join us Sunday morning at 6.30. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. The city of Madison is diving into a COVID-19 recovery plan, which includes the local art and music industry. The city is launching the Greater Madison Music City Program. It will create a music tourism economic recovery plan. This team aims to build a stage for struggling artists and music venues. Angela Puerta, a local musician on that team, says a career as a musician was a challenge before, but the pandemic made it even more difficult. With this equity lens, um, making sure that all music genres are involved, um, that musicians can uh, potentially make a great uh, living by doing music, which is something that it's not happening that much in Madison, so we want to reinforce that part um, and help music venues. The project is launching on Tuesday with virtual performances from local musicians, including Puerta. A bald eagle is flying free after being released into the wild in Sauk Prairie today. The rehabilitation was done virtually by the Raptor Group by Raptor Group and streamed live on YouTube. Viewers were able to ask questions about bald eagles and learn more about the process of wild animal rehabilitation. Jeb Barzin of the Ferry Bluff Eagle Council says he noticed a special difference between wild and released eagles in the Sauk Prairie area during winter. It was fascinating that the eagles that you released, they left the area just a few days after being released. But the birds that we captured who had chosen on their own to be here, they stayed, you know, for weeks. Barzin says they can learn a lot about eagle patterns by tracking them using radio transmitters. The raptor group says it doesn't know where the newly released eagle will choose to go. Thousands of Wisconsinites are out on the water this weekend for Wisconsin DNR's free fishing weekend. That means everyone can grab their gear and go fishing without a license or a trout stamp. The DNR says anglers can fish in all bodies of water in the state where there is an open season. There are still limits on the number and size of fish you can keep and how many you must release. The DNR says asks people to be cautious on all ice and maintain social distancing. Let's get a look at your first worn weather now. It might be a little slippery out on those roads tonight, Gary. Yeah, man, especially west of Madison. Winter weather advisory has been issued till midnight tonight for areas west of a Platteville or a Wisconsin Dells to Lone Rock to Platteville line, getting some reports of some icy roads over southwestern Wisconsin. Radar not showing very much, and that's because most of the precipitation is very light, mainly in the form of freezing drizzle and some snow flurries. You can see these little patches of very light precipitation moving over parts of southwestern Wisconsin through Crawford. County. A little wider radar perspective also shows some light snow showers over parts of Minnesota that may clip parts of southern Wisconsin overnight. So be aware that there is the potential for some slippery road services. Still widespread snow cover across our part of the Midwest. 
Out to the west, look at this open area here with very little in the way of snow. Temperatures there were in the 40s and 50s today, whereas over the more extensive snow cover, they were mainly in the 20s and 30s. The cloud cover night, though, keeps our temperatures up, so our temperatures are still averaging above normal. The jet stream pattern has kind of uh, broken down a little bit. There was a big area of low pressure aloft right over us with uh, that storm system to our south the last couple of days. Now that has moved off to the east. The jet stream starting to reload as a big storm system approaches the Pacific Northwest. And right now our upper level winds are coming in from the northwest, so that'll signal a change toward colder weather over the next couple of days. But for the most part, we have a lot of clouds, but not a lot in the way of precipitation. Weak cold front up to the north, dropping in a little colder air, mainly to the north. The storm system from uh, the last couple of days has now moved off to the east. But across our part of the Midwest, temperatures mainly in the 20s and lower 30s, a little colder behind that cold front, but the bulk of the cold air will stay to our north. On future track, lots of clouds overnight. Again, some freezing drizzles, some flurries, even a few snow showers that could bring some very minor accumulations. Then cloudy skies, some flurries during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the flurries end, but the clouds linger. On Monday, Martin Luther King Day, plenty of clouds, high temperatures in the upper 20s. Maybe some breaks in the clouds as we start to head into Tuesday, but the winds become more northwesterly, and that will turn our weather colder with high temperatures only around 20 degrees on uh, Tuesday. But toward the end of next weekend and into the start of the following week, a storm system brings the potential for some heavy snow across the Midwest. Now, right now, this is we're looking eight or nine days out, but this is what the uh, European computer model shows uh, for the potential for heavy snow, mainly over central and northern Wisconsin, with several inches across southern Wisconsin. By contrast, the U.S. computer model has a storm much farther to the south and missing us altogether. So again, lots of uncertainty, but something to watch at the end of next week. Otherwise, winter weather advisory until midnight for our western viewers. Look for skies to remain cloudy for tomorrow, maybe a few scattered flurries with a high of 30. The uh, future track snowfall potential, less than an inch if we see anything overnight. Otherwise, Look for cloudy skies on Monday, a colder day on Tuesday, a brief warm-up Wednesday and Thursday, some colder air to start uh, next weekend, and then that potential for a storm system at the end of next weekend into the start of the following week, followed by another shot of cold weather. Winter pattern starts to take shape after that. So we've been spoiled, Amanda, <laughs> but uh, things will start to change. We have. We'll see how that goes at the end of the week. Thank you, Gary. Coming up in sports, the Badger women's hockey team with another statement win on the ice. Well, they made some history against the Gophers. Saxon next with sports. This three now first born weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. <laughs> Like I said, this is a dipstick. <laughs> dipstick. Still hard to find a spot, just easier to park. Still the big move, just more moving. Still singing, just more in tune. Still the gang's all here, just less are we there yet. The Chevy family of SUVs, making life's journey just better. Get over $3,700 cash allowance on most 2021 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners with an eligible GM credit card get an additional $1,750 total allowance. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Attention, have you or a loved one suffered from maculopathy, a serious retinal injury, after taking the prescription drug Elmiron for interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome? In 2018, a researcher at the Emory School of Medicine linked Elmiron, a prescription drug that treats interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome, to maculopathy, which is sight-threatening and can cause an abrupt change of vision. Call Elmiron Justice for a free legal consultation. Please call 800-395-6755. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful 5G network that works without interruption in the places you wouldn't expect. And with every plan at U.S. Cellular, you get access to 5G at no additional charge. So no matter where you are, U.S. Cellular's network always keeps you connected in the places you need it most. At U.S. Cellular, all of our plans include 5G and get unlimited data for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. 
all for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Hurry to lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for just $2.99 a month. Only at your Wisconsin Ford dealer. Wisconsin allows 42 points in the paint, 20 offensive rebounds, and shoots just 24% from three-point range. It doesn't turn out well on the scoreboard. But that wasn't the case last night against Rutgers. The Badgers grinded out a win thanks to a late 12-0 run in the second half, propelled by none other than Demetric Trex. The senior guard scored eight straight points during that stretch to help ice the game and get the Badgers back in the win column. He had some big shots there uh, as we were able to stretch out that lead to 10. Um, you know, was able to get in some ball screen situations. We had a couple little uh, things we ran for him as well out of timeouts. So, you know, I, it was good for him to step up at the right time, which, you know, senior point guards, good ones tend to do that. We're confident in him. He's confident himself to, to get a good shot, whether it's for himself or for a teammate. He did a great job of putting the ball in the hoop there at the end and icing out the game. The Wisconsin women's hockey team made a statement in their game one of the series against Minnesota with a 5 nothing win. Now all that's left to do to sweep the top-ranked team in the country. The Badger offense gave Kennedy Blair an early lead yesterday, and that trend continued today. Lacey Eden taps it in to light the lamp. Eden's only been in Madison for three days. Scotty jumped out to a 2-0 lead. This one tied at the start of the third period, and then the Badgers got hot. Brett Pettit turns the turnover into points. She scored twice, and the Badgers sweep the Gophers with a 6-3 win. The Wisconsin men's hockey team donning the red sweaters tonight against Arizona State, and the Badgers couldn't have asked for a better start. Jack Gorniak goes top shelf, not even three minutes in. Scani goes up 1-0, and it was all over after that. Josh S. gathers the puck and then sneaks it through for another. Part of a three-goal first period, Badgers blank the Devils 4-0 the final. And Garrett Groshek has decided to head to the NFL instead of returning to Wisconsin for a sixth year with the Badgers. Last season, Groshek averaged four and a half yards per carry, rushing for 300 yards, and he also caught 22 passes for 119 yards. So Packers win, Badger men's and women's hockey win. The Badger men's basketball team won yesterday, the women won yesterday, yeah. and the Bucks won yesterday. So. Uh, we're sitting pretty good right now. Yeah, it's a great day to be a sports fan <laughs> in Wisconsin. Thanks so much, Zach. We'll be right back. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Hurry to lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for just $2.99 a month. Only at your Wisconsin Ford dealer. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. At American Family Insurance, we've always protected more than what you drive. We've protected and supported the dreams that drive you. Right now, that means extending our 10% savings on auto premium for all current and new auto customers through March. So you can get a little closer to your dream. Whether your dream is discovering new roads and new limits, or supporting that dream. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Culver's is a family restaurant. 
To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Incomparable design makes it beautiful. State-of-the-art technology makes it brilliant. The Lexus NX. With pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, and Amazon Alexa compatibility standard. Experience the crossover in its most visionary form. Lease the 2021 NX300 all-wheel drive for $359 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. We're not going to get back to normal in the immediate future. I think this is one of those things that's kind of fun to think about. Coronavirus altered our reality with a new normal of staying home, wearing masks, and socially distancing. But as the vaccine rolls out in Wisconsin, when could life start to return to what it once was Tuesday at 10? When we hear a big storm's headed our way, some of us fall back into bed, some into fresh powder. It's all about knowing what to expect. Watch News 3 now for an accurate first warn forecast so you can plan your perfect day. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. You're watching News 3 now at 10. No lottery ticket matched all six numbers drawn last night. That means the Mega Millions jackpot is now an estimated $850 million. That's the third largest lotto prize in U.S. history. The jackpot has been growing since September. The next Mega Millions drawing will be on Tuesday night. Man, just think of what would you what would you even do with that money? We played it's the so Powerball much. tonight as a station group because that jackpot is up. You never and I think know. We, we matched three numbers out of I don't know how many how many choices. We didn't we win. That's the we point. didn't win. Yeah, we still have our day jobs <laughs> and here. night jobs. Well, tonight we have some light freezing drizzle across parts of southwestern Wisconsin. Uh, visibility is right now dropping a little bit because of some fog, and that's uh, icing up the roads. Temperatures are at or slightly below freezing. Winter weather advisory in effect until midnight west of a Platteville to Lone Rock to a Wisconsin Dells line. So be aware if you're driving out tonight, especially west of Madison. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.